Imagine a predator you can't see, no teeth, no claws, but lurking where we go to heal. It waits on bed rails, IV poles, and even the hands of caregivers. This is Candida auris, a microscopic fungus with a deadly reputation. It's a silent, invisible threat that has doctors and scientists on high alert. First identified just over a decade ago, it's now a global menace. It preys on the most vulnerable, the elderly, the sick, those with weakened immune systems. Hospitals meant for recovery have become its hunting grounds. What makes C. auris so frightening? It's stealth. You can't see or smell it, but it can colonize skin without symptoms, then invade the body and cause severe, often deadly infections. It resists our best medicines and defies standard cleaning protocols. This is a new frontier in infectious disease, a reminder that the microbial world is always evolving. As of today, it's here in the United States, in our healthcare facilities. The CDC has labeled it an urgent threat. We must understand how it spreads, who's at risk, and how to protect ourselves. The fight against Candida auris isn't just for doctors, it's everyone's battle. Awareness and action are our best defenses. The story of C. auris is a wake-up call for us all. So what is Candida auris? It's a type of yeast, a fungus that can live on the human body. Unlike most Candida species, C. auris is a dangerous, emerging pathogen. It causes serious, often life-threatening infections, especially in the bloodstream. The mortality rate is high, more than one in three with invasive infection die. Why is it so dangerous? First, it's often multi-drug resistant. Common antifungals don't work. Some strains resist all major antifungal medications, leaving doctors with few options. Second, it's hard to identify. Labs can mistake it for other yeasts, delaying treatment. Every hour counts with a fast-moving infection. Specialized technology is needed to detect it, but not all hospitals have it. Finally, C. auris causes outbreaks in healthcare settings, targeting those already sick or with weakened immune systems. For these patients, a hospital stay can turn into a fight for survival. C. auris is relentless, resistant, and hard to diagnose. It's a superbug, one that's rewriting the rules of infection control, and it's spreading. Candida auris was first found in Japan in 2009, but now it's on every continent. It's appeared in the UK, Spain, India, South Africa, Colombia, and the US. In the US, cases have surged since 2016, with outbreaks in major cities and long-term care facilities. International travel and patient transfers help it spread. One colonized person can introduce it to a new country. Our interconnected world is a highway for pathogens like C. auris. Genetic studies show it emerged independently in multiple regions, not from a single source. Climate change may have helped it adapt to human body temperatures. C. auris could be just the first of many new fungal threats in a warming world. The threat is global, and growing. Candida auris is incredibly resilient, it can survive on hospital surfaces for weeks. Bed rails, tables, equipment, nothing is safe. Standard disinfectants often fail hospitals need special high-strength cleaners and even UV or hydrogen peroxide systems. The fungus spreads mainly by contact often via healthcare workers' hands. Hand hygiene is critical but C. auris clings stubbornly to skin and surfaces. Hospitals now screen patients to find silent carriers and isolate them to prevent outbreaks. Breaking the chain of infection is a massive challenge but it's essential. In the fight against C. auris, vigilance is everything. Combating Candida auris requires everyone's effort. Doctors, hospitals, public health, and the public. Hospitals must invest in rapid detection, strict infection control, and staff training. Communication between facilities is vital when transferring patients. For patients and families, awareness is key. Ask about hand hygiene, observe cleanliness, and use sanitizer. Simple actions can prevent the spread of C. auris and other infections. Public health agencies track and research C. auris, but we need continued investment and new treatments. The rise of C. auris is a warning about antimicrobial resistance. We must use medicines wisely and demand robust infection control. Stay informed, stay vigilant. Awareness is our first and strongest defense. The fight against superbugs starts with all of us. 